All right. Hey, guys. <coughs> so uh, this is your homework, the classification of chemical reactions worksheet here. Um, you're going to classify the reactions below as synthesis. I put direct combination in quotes up here because you could use either one. I would use synthesis. Decomposition. Single replacement, and you have to tell if it's cationic or anionic. So either cationic single replacement or anionic single replacement or double replacement. Okay. So um, because on your homework, there are only 10 problems, I don't want to um, do a bunch of these and only leave you with like five to practice with or so. So I'm going to uh, sort of do some examples, but on a just a different random worksheet that I that I found. OK, um, so I'm going to do the same thing on this worksheet that that you should be doing on uh, on the homework sheet. So uh, on this, we're going to look and I'm just going to pick certain ones here. OK, so the first one here, if you look, you're going to look at the style. So what you're really looking at is the format of it. OK, so. What we're really looking at is like, what are the reactants in the products? Okay. So here on our reactant side, we have two compounds, right? On our product side, we have two compounds. So which type of reaction has two compounds on the reactants and two compounds on the products? Okay, so if you're looking, no, no, that is one compound there. Single replacement has common, but one, one compound, one element can't be that. So double replacement is the only one that has two compounds on both sides, reactants and products. So it must be a double replacement. All right, so look at number two. We've got two compounds, right? And it produce, it's producing one compound. So let's look at this. And this is a key thing here. We've only got one thing on one side, right? So which thing only has one thing on the product side, one compound. Well, the only one that's like that is synthesis, having one compound on the product side. Decomposition has one compound, but it's on the reactant side. So this has to be synthesis, okay? All right. Um, let's see. Let's go to here, number six. Uh, one compound, okay? And we've got two elements. And so again, here's a key thing, one compound. What only has one thing on the reactant side? Well, the only one that has one thing on the reactant side is one compound for decomposition. So this has to be okay. All right. Now let's take a look at seven. Seven, we've got one compound and one element. Okay, I'm just going to shorten them to C's and E's. On the product side, we have one element and one compound. So what type of reaction has one element and one compound on both sides? Got to be a single replacement. Now, we know the single replacement has two types, cationic or anionic. So how do we tell the difference? We look at the single element on the reactant side. We look and see basically what's switching. So what is switching here? The H and the Fe are switching spots, right? So that means the Fe, Fe is a positive ion. Like if we look on our periodic table, we don't know what the charge is, but we know it's a cation because it's a metal. 
Okay, so this has to be cationic single replacement. Okay. All right, let's look at number eight. So over here we have one compound and one element, right? Over here we have two compounds. So let's look and see what has that. Um, one compound, one element uh, could be this one, but our products are one compound, so that doesn't work because our products here are two compounds. Um, one compound, one element, but our products are two compounds, so this doesn't work. Um, our products are two compounds here, but our reactants aren't. So this one doesn't look like it falls in anything, right? If you're looking at that and that happens, check and see, is it a combustion reaction? Combustion reaction needs to be a hydrocarbon, something made of carbon, hydrogen, can have oxygen, doesn't have to, but it can. Carbon, hydrogen, plus oxygen gas, giving you carbon dioxide and water. Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, plus oxygen, gas, carbon dioxide, water. This is a combustion reaction. Okay. All right. Not going to do them all. That's a basic overview of, of how to kind of break down and, and do these. Okay. You're going to do, uh, you're going to do this, identify them on here. Okay. Same way. If you have questions, oh, let me know.